Hi, my name is Matt. I'll show you how to sequence your effect in Light Jams. At first, using a timer, and following, I'll show you how to do it using a MIDI keyboard. So let's start. Here, I've already created three scenes or three effects with moving lights. As we can see in the monitor, they are at the kind of default position. If I activate my first effect, my first scene, we see that's a, a, ran, a kind of random stroboscope effect. Now I'll activate the second effect here, a bit slow, slower effect. And finally, the third effect with a little bit more of colors. What we want is, instead of pushing the activation slider up and down like this manually, we want to do it with a timer. The key concept in, in Light Jumps to do it is that we can activate groups and grids from other grids. To do that, I only need to give each group and grids a unique ID. So I select my Scene 1 group and I click the Enable Attribute ID button and I'm giving it a SO1 ID. Same thing, S I give SO2 ID for scene 2 and SO3 ID for scene 3. Now each of my scene has a unique ID. All scenes attributes are now in the attribute list. I can search for them. And I see there is the activation and there is a speed slider for each scene. Next, I'm creating the sequencer grid. Since I want to sequence only three effects, I'm resizing the grid. Now I'll put the activation attributes at the bottom of the grid. I'm adding a default source to disable all effect by default, just full range and 0% intensity, 0% power. And then I see all effects are disabled. Now I'm adding the real source. Full range, full power, but just pointing downward. And right now we can see as I move as I move the source, effects are activated. Next thing to do is to link the X slider to sawtooth formula, for example. If I want each effect to be acti activated for 3 seconds, the total time is 9 seconds. So right now, I can add fade in and fade out. And we have a, tam a timer-based sequencer with nice fades between each, each scenes. Now, I'll show you how to use a MIDI keyboard to activate your effect. As you can see here, I have a MIDI keyboard. If I select the MIDI input, I see in the monitor the, no the notes I'm pushing. I use this note to activate the next effect, selecting it, and now I'm going to the math formula input. What I do is that I will use a counter from 0 to the last grid position. And as you can see, the counter takes an increment now formula. So I'll increment the counter each time I press the MIDI note. So the unbeat function will make sure that I need to press and then release the MIDI note in order for the counter to be incremented. And last thing, since the X slider need, needs a percent, I'll convert the X position to a percent with the X to percent function. So that's it. Right now, right now each time I press the MIDI note, the source advances. The counter function takes a decrement and a reset function. So you could, for example, take 
this part of the formula, link it to the another MIDI note, and now I have this button to move forward and this button to move backward. This isn't limited to MIDI, you could use for example DMX input, OSC, even music beat detection to control your source position. Thanks for watching!